Okay, guys, what do you think of that, man? That's what I'm going to put back there. Now, that can go pointing up like that or pointing down. Um, I'd rather have it pointing up like it is because the ones on the front fender are also pointing in that direction. So we're going to keep those like that. They're not finished yet. I just cut them. I, um, I smoothed the edges. I'm going to ball cut the fingers on the insides and uh, that'll be polished to a mirror finish. So I just wanted to give you guys a, uh, a preview of uh, what I'm going to do with some of my leftover aluminum. Okay guys, we got that one there all polished up B. See, we bolt cutted just the insides. Now those are reversible too. They can go pointed down or pointed up because I polished both sides. So yeah, they can go either way. They can go down or up. You know, I found out that my welder will be here on Monday, guys. So I made the I went ahead and made those uh, those axle covers. I'm just polishing them up now. I got these. They're they're already made. And you guys seen how I made the uh, the other aluminum stuff. These are flat, you know, so they're really easy. Almost looks like a gun. And the nice thing about these is they could go like this, or they can go like that. Think they're basically they're a mirror finish and I still have enough aluminum to do that uh, Garmin mount in my lack so these are identical they look pretty good I checked them out or whatever. I'll show you guys. Uh, I'll mount them on the bike and I'll show you guys what they look like. Okay, boys, there's that side there. Now, like I said, they can go up or down. But uh, I think they look better like that. I first had them mounted up. But uh, since that's the end of the bike, you know, and, uh, you know, we have the three on the front fender going up. And then when it comes to the back end, they're going down. So I think that's better. But I will tell you one thing I gotta do, guys. I gotta change those out to button heads. Yeah, I gotta definitely change those out to button heads. There's no doubt about that, man. I think I'm gonna take this strap off. Yeah, a couple button heads in there will look really good. All right, guys, you know, they took me, those took me maybe, it's, it's like 6.30 right now, a.m. I started around, probably around 12. Those only took me about six hours to make, you know, because I didn't have to bend them at all. And uh, I cut the aluminum with the jigsaw with a metal blade. 
I mean, that makes real short work of it. You know, like the very first blade I made for the front fender, you know, I mean, I haven't cut aluminum in a long time, and I used my Dremel tool on it, and I was there literally for like two days. You know, the jigsaw, man, the jigsaw makes a real fast work of that. Now, like, if you guys have a, a bandsaw with a metal blade, that's even better. That's even better. Or they even, uh, they, have, they sell a saw that has like a wire. It's got like a diamond wire. That'll... That, that'll enable you to go around curves. If you have one of those, that's even faster. From what I understand. I might be wrong. But uh, those were flat. Those were real easy to do. You know, and then I, I, um, I bulk cutted the, uh, the, the edges. The reason why I bulk cutted the edges, because I couldn't get a sanding disc in there to make those edges round and smooth so you know the next best thing to do is to ball cut them otherwise I wouldn't have ball cut those that's why I ball cut them the ones on the front fender and those axle covers because I couldn't get in to where those little teeth are you know there's files you can buy files you know you can buy like a real fine set of files that'll do that and then some sandpaper it'll just take a lot more time which I don't have. So, I'm still waiting on my welder. When I get my welder, I'll, uh, I'll spot weld all those bolts on the front fender. And uh, that'll be done. <laughs>